blue blue lets us measure the effectiveness of a ml model for text translation or summarization in a broader way in this video we will uncover what is blue how do we use it and how the internals of blue work so let's dive in what is blue so blue is a matrix for evaluating the quality of text generated by a machine learning translation model by comparing it to a reference translation this definition will become more clear through this example here suppose i have a text in french and this text needs to be translated into english so it is t m a commu un umi i am not even able to pronounce it french is a tough language looks like anyways the idea here is that i have this french text and uh, i want it to be translated or i want to create a machine learning model which translates this french text to an english language so suppose i have this ml model already designed here so what it does it takes this french text and it gives me this english text which is a translation of this french text here so this means i love you it has given a translation it means i love you and how do we compare how effective is this translation we have some human reference translation here so if you look at here so we have this this is the reference data so inside reference data we will try to compare it with how closely it matches the data set in our reference data set so it says i like you as a friend and i love you as a friend so these are the two reference translation which has been provided to us now when we compare this generated translation to a reference translation we try to assign this translation a score we usually assign this translation a score that a score let me write the score here that a score is called blue score perfect and this blue score ranges from 0 to 1 perfect but there are certain issues with this blue score as well it does not consider meaning fluency or diversity in the text basically and it works best when multiple references text are available and it's really less effective for open ended text generation like chatbots or a story generation it's not really effective in that but if we have one to one translation the score is really effective now let's try to understand how do we interpret blue score interpreting the blue score so inside blue score we have a minimum range 0 and maximum value it could have is 1 so blue score ranges between 0 to 1 this is min and max value so, and now how do we understand what a score means what so if your blue score is 1 that means it is a perfect translation it's a perfect match and if the score is 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 it is considered to be a fairly good translation but if it is between 0 to 0 0.3 it means it's a very bad translation it's a poor translation so this is how we interpret the blue score now let's try to understand how do we assign this score we have a range from 0 to 1 to every generated translation we are going to assign a score now let's try to understand how do we assign this a score to every translated text process of assigning the translation score so in the process of assigning the translation score what we do we usually compare n gram of generated translation to the n gram of provided reference here n gram is a fancy way of saying chunks of word n chunks of word basically so by definition if you see it's here so an n gram is a continuous sequence of n words from a given text or a speech pretty easy now let's try to look at this through an example suppose i have this weighing a scale here and this is how we try to compare the n gram of generated translation here and this side we have n gram of provided reference point to be noted here is that both side we take same n gram so this side if i have taken unigram this side also i will be taking unigram now let me try to give you a more reliable example suppose there is a translated text i love you and i say let's do it through unigram process so what i mean by unigram that means this sent this sentence has three words one two three so each word will be divided so this is unigram 
so each word inside this sentence is on its own now when i say uh, instead of uh, n gram I, I i sorry instead of unigram if i say 2 gram or trigram so it will have 2 similarly this is the generated text and suppose the reference text contains i love you as friend so in this if i do unigram the same process will be followed every word inside this sentence will be on its own and we try to compare every word on its own and we see how similar they are in nature now let's try to understand this process in a more mathematical way let us try to do a unigram precision for this generated text and this reference text so what we have here the generated text is i love you my friend so this is my generated text and the reference text which is the reference data set contains i love you as a friend so how do we create a precision unigram precision basically so mathematical formula is the number of matching words or n-gram divided by total number of words in the generation so what we have here so total number of words in generation how many words we have generated here one two three four and five so total number of words in generation five which is here now number of matching words so how many words which is are in our translation matches with our reference text is let me use a different color for this so i perfectly matches with i love perfectly matches with love and you is also matching so we have three then my it's not there so it's not matching it is then friend so friend is matching perfect so total number of matching words we have four which is here so this gives to us four by five so this will be the score which will be decided based on unigram precision now similar exercise we will have to do for <coughs> multi precision for example if we want to compare two words instead of one that way also we can do if we want to compare three words that way also we can do but you see <coughs> there is a problem here so if inside this generated text if inside this generated text i just repeat love four times can you imagine that scenario how that turns out let me give you an example so if you see here the generated text has generated love how many times one two three four five times so total number of words in our generation is five and total number of matching words is also five so according to our formula it should be 5 divided by 5 which is equal to 1 so this means it's a perfect translation but it's far from reality this is not at all a perfect translation in fact it is the worst translation now to avoid this issue what we used to do to handle this issue we clip the occurrences of unigram to the maximum number of unigram appearance in the reference text for example here we will try to clip it let's type it clip we will clip it to the maximum number of terms uh, maximum number of amount this term has appeared in the reference text so love has appeared how many times only one time so it, so if the change formula this equals to one by five that's why we apply this clipping here this clipping is really important it helps a lot in giving a perfect score Let's look at one more example here. So let's suppose this is the generated text from the ML model. So generated text is friend, I love you, my. Of course, it does not make any sense. But the reference text here is I love you as a friend. So this is generated text and this is reference text. If we are going to use unigram here, the score would be really high because we have all the comparing words the friend is already present i is also present love is also present and you is also present and uh, i think my is not present so we have one two three four it will be somewhere between four by five so the score is really high but if you see from a human perspective this translation is not making sense at all so to avoid this what we do we do this we calculate this precision score Let, let's call it precision score to calculate this precision score we do unigram we also do bigram 
and we do trigram and then we do we do four gram and at the end of the day when we have a precision score from all of this let's call it p1 let's call it p2 let's call it p3 and let's call it p4 so at the end of the day what we do we take the geometric mean of all of it p1 multiplied by p2 multiplied by p3 multiplied by p4 this is our b blue score so inside this suppose here if we take for let's for for the sake of convenience let's directly jump to four gram so if you compare one two three four friend i love you so let's compare all of this do we have any matching sentence like this in here no that means p4 will be directly equal to zero so zero multiplied by all of three will give us zero so blu score final blu score here would be zero that means there is no context here so that's how we normalize uh, if there is no context uh, in the tra translated text we take bigram trigram four gram uh, starting from unigram of course so if you are using a uh, hugging face you have directly a library to call it and if you are using a spacey on nltk there are different ways you can call this let me give you a couple of example how you can calculate the blu score for different libraries so if you are using nltk library this is how you can use the blu score this is your reference text here and this is your generated text basically this is this text here is generated by your ml model and if you want to calculate the blu score this is a simple one line call here sentence blu which we have imported here you see so it's it's super easy the calculating blu score using any library is super easy the main key factor is understanding what goes inside the blu score also if you are trying to use a hugging face library this is how you can calculate the blu score so inside hugging face we have a library called evaluate you can directly use this library to calculate the blu score so inside this you import the blu.compute and from there you supply the translated text and along with translated text like the usual way you also need to provide the reference comparing all of this the blu score will be calculated and this is how it prints here this is the generated translation and for this generated translation the blu score is this now calling and using blu score using the libraries it's pretty straightforward it's hardly one or two lines of code the key factor here is understanding what goes inside the blu score and how do we calculate the blu score so this is it for this current video just to summarize here are the things we looked at in this video we looked at what is blu score along with this we looked at how the internals of blu score work so suppose if this is our ml model this takes in a text and this gives us a generated text which here i'm representing by gt we try to compare this generated text to a reference text which i am representing it through rt so this gt and rt we compare it and we try to give this generated text a blu score now based on this blu score we can say how effective is our translation and this blu range is between 0 to 1 one being the perfect translation zero being the worst translation so this is a quick summary of what we looked at in this video tutorial i hope you have learned something in this tutorial see you in next part